Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I'm here to share another Christmas card with you today. Hey there, so I am using Jada Blossom's uh, triangle square mat dies along with our mini tag dies too, our clear jar stamp set and our clear jar outline dies, our sweets of the season stamp set and our clear jar Christmas add-ons and our mason jar die. I'm also using Echo Park's Christmas Cheer and uh, my favorite Christmas, but you could use any pad for this. So I went ahead and I stamped the images out with Ink on Three's Blackout Ink, colored them with, with Copics, they'll be listed on my blog, cut them out with my brother Scan and Cut, uh, one on the line, one with a 0.4 border, and I edged the one on the line with black ink. So I'm using a Judkins window uh, plastic that's embossable, and I stamped out the two jars um, using VersaFine Claire Nocturne Ink, and I used fine detail jet black embossing powder and melted it. So there we go. So that is my background that I put together um, using um, sticky sheets. I showed you how to do that on the last video, and I'm going to stick this down onto my card front. It's a 4.25 inch square card so eight and a half uh, by four and a quarter scored at four and a quarter and i'm popping this on now on the front of those are um, the the holly papers are patterns from the pad and then i used uh, american crafts uh, cardstock with texture red and green and then nina's desert storm so those are the two images uh, that I stamped and heat embossed and I did cut them out using my Gemini machine you just got to run it through a few times because it's cutting through the the window plastic so now I am using um score tape sorry guys I kind of had a brain fart there I'm using score tape to tape down my little candies inside my jar so the idea is is that I'm it's going to look like it's sitting in the jar itself there we go now you could make a shaker obviously but I decided to do it this way so there we go. And I'm just going to hide my adhesive because that's the best with, with something like, um, you know, acetate. So I'm just putting some a couple of stripes on the top of this jar. And I'm just going to rub it down with my Teflon bone folder to make sure it sticks well. Now this is all in real time. I didn't spe speed this up at all. There we go. Now I'm just checking to see how this is going to fit on there, if it's going to work. Yes, it is. But of course, I stuck it down a little bit because I was having a bit of a brain fart. And now I realize, oh, darn it, I meant to layer the other one on top. So I'm going to peel that off. Luckily, it hadn't really stuck down yet. There we go. And then I will add my other jar on top. So it's going to look like the uh, candies are inside the clear jar, which is what I was going for. A shaker card would look just as cute, but there we go. Isn't that cute? And then um, I'm going to add the little fabric topper. That fabric topper is uh, from the mason jar die die set and that pattern is actually from the my favorite christmas pad but like i said you could use any pattern pads that you have um, to make cards like this i just chose uh you know colors and stuff that went together and i chose my copics related to what i was going to be using so same thing all those copics will be listed on my blog so now i am adding more score tape and then i'm going to add the little mason jar top that i cut out of american crafts christmas foil pad it's just in silver and like i said i cut all my dies out using my gemini machine and i cut out my images always with my brother scan and cut this was the first time that I actually used it to cut on the border of anything. And boy, did it ever work out well. I was, I was surprised. There we go. So there is one that was cut with a 0.4 border. And this is my dry run. I'm going to try and use the, um, the Jaded, Blossom, um, crisp, or Jaded Blossom Mini Tags 1. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment from that same um, Clear Jars Christmas add-ons. It says Merry Christmas. I'm using the VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. Um, but then I realize it's not big enough. Like I thought I did a dry run and made sure, but I did not like the look of it. So I thought I'd leave this in because, you know, I don't know what I'm doing all the time. And I don't, you know, it doesn't stay exactly what it, how I thought it out to begin with. Um, this happens a lot. I look at it and it's like, yeah, I don't like that. So I went ahead and I used this different tag and that's from the mini tag dies uh, two actually. And I cut that out of uh, Nina Desert Storm 80 pound cardstock, same as the other tag that I uh, didn't use. I'm just going to pop it, pop it out of its place there. And then I will do some stamping. Now I do some stamp surgery. I just cut this Merry Christmas in half 
nothing bad's going to happen. There's There was no screaming. So there we go. And I'm just going to stamp Mary and then Christmas. I'm going to stamp, um, stack those two sentiments on that tag. There we go. Because this is going to be the sentiment for the front of my card. And I'm just going to stamp the second part, Christmas. And then I'm in business. There we go. So you'll notice on um, those colored images, I did use a secure white jelly roll pen in a number 10 just to add some bold highlights. Um, I like that. I think it adds something. There we go. So now this is a piece of twine. This is from Trendy Twine. And I'm using my bow easy to tie a quick double uh, double loop bow. That's in the, on the smallest little one there. Now, anyone that knows me knows that I, I'm not the greatest bow tire, but I look like I can tie them pretty darn well when I use this bow easy. So what can I say? It's, you know, I, it's one of those tools that I use all the time. Whenever I'm tying anything, any kind of bow, that's what I use because, you know, I'm, I'm all thumbs when it comes to this stuff. There we are. So there's my little double looped bow. And I'll trim off the tails with some scissors here. There we go. And uh, once I get it in place, I'll be able to trim the tails to exactly where I want it, but it's pretty good right now. So now I'm going to pop up this jar uh, using my 3M foam tape. And I'm just putting some behind the lid and then behind the candies. And that way it, it pops it all up so it makes it look, look still look popped up. But at the same time, it doesn't, you know, mess with the, uh, you know, aesthetic of the card. You're not going to see any um, foam tape, you know, sticking out from behind that clear acetate. There we are. So I'm just popping that all on. I'll peel off the backing. And then I'm going to pop that in the center of that triangle, triangle square mat die. Isn't that a great background? Like, I love the stitching. I just think it looks just so pretty. And I made a few of them um, using scraps. And I'll use, um, I think I've got two left that I'll use on some cards in the future. But yeah, so there we go. So now I've got my little jar. And look at the shine off that acetate. It just looks like glass to me, which is what I was going for. So it's lots of fun. Now you could also use stays, stays on ink if you wanted to stamp the jars in that. Um, there we are. So I, st I did stick that little um, tag down using ATG tape. And now I'm going to roll up a little glue dot. And I will stick it behind um, the trendy twine so I can add that to the front or to the top of the little tag there. And, you know, I'm not sure what this trendy twine is called, but it was from trend. Uh, I'm just, I'm, it was trendy. It's from trendy twine, but I'm not sure. Uh, I know it's a Christmas brand or Christmas name. So now I'm pulling out Trinity Stamps uh, Christmas Candy Jar Clay Sprinkles, and I'm going to add a few using my art glitter glue and of course I had a little clog there so you see nothing like not everything goes perfectly for me <laughs> there we are and now I'm using my studio Katia embellishment wand to sort of stick those on and you notice see I dropped it it's like yeah not everything goes perfect for me there we go I'm just grabbing my little reverse tweezers to move that up and there aren't those cute little candies I just thought they were adorable perfect for this card because I love uh, these little Christmas candies. Now I'm going to use those clear jar Christmas add-ons again. I did color all the images from that set. So I'll make um, three other cards from that uh, little set and I'll do some, I'll do different ones for those just so you can, you know, see the use of these clear jar add-on stamp sets. So now on the inside of this uh, little card, I'm going to add a strip of the American Crafts red textured cardstock. That's one inch or one and a quarter inches, sorry. I'm just using, I'm working on a Stampin' Up pad there with a the grid. So I'm just lining up my piece of red cardstock there. Because I always say I'm a little challenged getting things straight these days. So there we are. And so now I run another little stripe of ATG tape and then I'm going to put down Another slice of pattern paper, this is one inch wide, and that is that from Echo Parks, um, My Favorite Christmas. But like I said, you could use any pattern paper. Just choose coordinating stuff. There we go. Now I'm flipping it over and I will trim off the uh, extra with a pair of scissors here. There we go. Because you always want to add something to the inside of a homemade card. At least I do. I always kind of find that the inside is kind of like 
anticlimactic at the end when you, you know, get this beautiful card on the front that you work so hard on and the inside's kind of like mah, mah. So now I'm pulling out a stamp from Sweets of the Season. I'm going to use Hope Your Holidays Are the Sweetest, you know, to kind of play off on the candies. And now I'm going to stamp um, that sentiment using the same Versifying Claire uh, Nocturne ink. And I've got everything in my way. I'm crafting in a little, little tiny little spot. And I'm going to try and line that up. I'm deciding where it's going to go. And there we go. Just going to stamp that down. And there we go. So kind of cute, right? Nice and simple. This will fit in an A2 size envelope, which is also good. And now I'm going to add a few more of these Trinity uh, Christmas candy jar clay sprinkles. Now these would have looked great in a shaker, but I'm going to add just a few as embellishments to the card using my Studio Katia embellishment wand again. There we go on the art glitter glue. And I'm going to, you know, put um, an odd number, you know, kind of straddling my image like I usually do. There we go. And I love how these turned out. It's super cute. And I can't wait to use these clear jar Christmas add-ons again, but I'll try to do it in a different way. Um, you know, so you, you know, so you, so you can see the versatility of those stamp sets. We have them for all the different seasons. So lots of fun to use. Thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jaded Blossom store and maybe check out these cuties. Thanks everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.